Spotify is currently testing music NFTs on music artist profiles, on selected ones, to actually see how they're going to work on Spotify. So let's delve right in. How are you doing today? So Spotify is testing NFT galleries on artist pages, and it's going to be available to a limited number of Android users in the US. In addition to their latest tracks and playlists, musicians can use Spotify's artist profile pages to promote merch and concert dates. And soon they may be able to use those pages to promote NFTs as well. Now, Shopify is one way to potentially get NFTs to an artist page, but it's not an official way of doing things. And the fact that Spotify is experimenting with this on their platform, doesn't that show that they're opportunists and they are worried that if they don't encompass music NFTs going forward, that that may actually affect their market share. So that's why I personally believe that's why Spotify is looking into this. So as first reported by Music Alley, Spotify has begun testing NFT galleries. The feature is available to a select group of US users on Android and includes Web3 enthusiasts like Steve Aoki. So Steve Aoki I've reported on a few times on this channel. If you've access to the test, you can view the galleries by visiting one of the included artist pages and scrolling past the song list. Tapping on an NFT allows you to see a larger version of it, in addition to a short description. So from the Verge article, a see more option redirects you to the NFT's OpenSea listing page. So it's going to be a link where you can purchase the actual token. And according to the article, Spotify isn't collecting a commission on sales as it helps facilitate during the test. Interesting. I think this could really bring a lot of musicians into NFTs if Spotify supports that. Because the fact that streaming revenue is so, so low, this is a great income stream for artists to consider having NFTs, whether that's music NFTs or whether it's typical art about music NFTs. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you also like the sound of NFTs and music. So it's not collecting a commission so far. You know how these things are. They're businesses, aren't they? So you never know how things could change in the future. So Spotify is currently running a test in which it will help a small group of artists promote their existing third-party NFTs offerings via their artist profiles. Spotify told the outlet we're routinely conducting a number of tests in an effort to improve artist and fan experiences. So that there might be a lot of tweaking going forwards. The test comes as other major platforms like Instagram incorporate their own NFT features even as the market cools down. Citing data from Non-Fungible, the Wall Street Journal recently found that daily NFT sales are actually down 92% from their peak in September. The number of active wallets is also down by about 88%. Okay, so we've actually got an example here that I've just found. So this is Steve Aoki's profile page and this is the NFT screen on that. Apologies for all of the ads, it's really frustrating. But still, this just gives you an insight into discover the Steve Aoki NFT collection and the heading is Steve Aoki NFTs. And these are the art NFTs that you can see. I don't know how advanced this actually is, whether it will play video automatically or whether it's just pictures, whether you could incorporate music NFTs. That's what I think Spotify really needs to focus on personally. But you know, it's a start. And you can see when you click on the NFT that you're interested in, you'll then get this extra screen here of a larger image and You've got the title of the NFT here and a description and you can see more. And when you click on the see more, that'll actually take you to the OpenSea page of that NFT for you to be able to purchase. So there you go. It looks good, doesn't it? But I could personally see lots of improvements with this going forward. If they do take this online and they do launch this, maybe just a small selection of artists to begin with, but then slowly globally releasing this stuff, that could be huge for music NFTs. And people will suddenly be like, all of the fans of Steve Aoki's will be like, oh my gosh, these NFTs are now available. I'm gonna really look into this. So this is great advertising potential for Spotify as well.
which I don't like to say, but let's be honest, um, all of the likes of Facebook and Instagram and Spotify and YouTube is all about advertising. But it's great that I'm actually able to show you an example, which is really cool. And the way that we found out about this originally is because Spotify launched a survey, which seemed like a generalistic survey, but it wasn't. It was actually talking about implementing NFTs into their service and what artists actually feel about them. So the kind of things that they've been asking on this survey is how much would you expect to pay for an idea of, of the NFT knowing that it would support the artist, whether it should be free, $1 to 25, 26 to 50, 51, 75, blah, 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 blah. So that's interesting. They're trying to understand how much fans would potentially pay for NFTs via their platform. One of the artists you've listened to most on Spotify is dropping their next album and you can buy a limited edition multimedia NFT. With this exclusive art piece, you experience the global sounds that inspired the songs and artwork. It's a passion project for the artist and will become a collector's edition. Owning it proves you are an original superfan and that's why collectors believe it will go up in value as the artist gets bigger. How excited would you be to own or be part of this? How excited would you be to share this with others? Also, NFTs provide artists with new ways of connecting with fans, including more access and more creative opportunities. If you purchased an NFT or were awarded one by one of your favorite artists, how would you want to use it? So the options that they've decided to put are add to the library of music I own, collect my achievements as a fan, participate in challenges, display to friends in my home, sell or trade on the marketplace, display to friends on my phone, showcase the NFT on my Spotify profile. Oh, that could be interesting. So then your typical user Spotify profile could actually have the NFTs on it of, of what you've actually bought. That's really interesting because that opens up a lot more opportunities because, okay, I'm friends with this person, so I'm gonna, I like their music, so I'm gonna check out their Spotify profile. Oh, they've got NFTs, what are those? So yeah, this, is, this could be huge for the NFT market. It really could be a big deal. And I know that the way that they're currently going about it seems fairly simplistic, but everybody has to start somewhere, right? That's what I believe. Now, I think from what Facebook is trying to do with Meta, it, it could be potentially quite a similar thing. So this tweet here took a Spotify survey about how they want to make NFTs for fans that can be purchased if they had that disaster. Yeah, a lot of people aren't really for this. They, they want NFTs to stay in Web3. But from my point of view, the only way that NFTs are really going to become more mainstream is that they go into Web2 platforms, I think. But then hopefully that'll onboard enough people that they'll recognise that Web3 is so much more better and it's a decentralised opportunity. And then hopefully they'll move from, say, Facebook meta to the, the real metaverse or Spotify NFTs to OpenSea. So at least they're providing the link of OpenSea. They're not trying to keep it all within the same Spotify platform because that, to me, would be a disaster. But they're not. They're, they're basically marketing the fact that NFTs can be purchased by artists and that you can be directed to an OpenSea profile page to actually purchase those NFTs. So I'm for it. I think it's a good thing. But let me know what you think in the comments. I'm always intrigued what people think. Appreciate you keeping up to date with this channel. Make sure you give the video a like and um, hit that notification bell if you want to be kept in the loop with new videos. And I will speak to you next time. Take care, everyone.